Hey YouTube friends, welcome to RK Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, I've been trying to think how I was going to start this video and what I was going to say. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I really am. Uh, let me do a little explaining real quick. In my last video, I put out that I was selling an item and that people that purchased that item, 100% of the proceeds were going to go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And I read a letter from a viewer that was a very heartwarming letter. And because of that, that was the reason for me saying that I'm going to give 100% of the proceeds to St. Jude's. Well, that has been an overwhelming and heartfelt journey and success thus far. So today's Sunday for me, and I know it's not Sunday for you, but normally I start packaging a few items on Sunday if I sell a lot in the evening time. And if I don't sell so much, I'll just do it Monday morning and then take it to the post office. Well, this is midday on Sunday, and I felt that I better get started. And the reason being is, if you watched that last video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so far, what I've been selling are these. Arcade Treasure Center mugs. And it's all because of all of you and the success and the support that's been going so far. Now, I haven't sold all of these. I think I've sold maybe 19 or 20 of these so far, and I only had about 25 listed. And there's some extra ones here because I use them for giveaways, and I also use them for, you know, if something was to arrive damaged, I want to make sure I can replace it. But I also have some backups. So there is, I think, 36 here, but like I said, I give some of those giveaways. But all because of you, all because of the viewers, I have been selling these, and they have been going good. I mean, I pulled my print off my sheets, and look, there's one, two, and almost a third page so far. Plus, I've had a couple other sales through PayPal. So, like I said, I think I've sold about 20 of these out of the 25 that I had listed. So, I, I'm just overwhelmed and ecstatic and amazing. And all the proceeds that I sell off of these are going to St. Jude's. And... I'm doing this for that viewer and we're doing it in that viewer's father's name who was Arthur and if you didn't see the story and you don't know anything about it then go back and watch the last video and if I remember I'll try to put a click to a link down here and probably a click link down below in the description so you can go back and check out the video and know what we're talking about but I've got to get started and wrapping these right here so that's what I'm going to do right now but thank you so much I mean I have just been reading the comments off of the YouTube are supportive and amazing people that come together people have good hearts y'all have good hearts it just overwhelms me of the comments i'm reading the stories i'm reading on the ebay sales i'm getting stories and messages and comments and you all are amazing just people in general have a good heart when it comes down to doing things thank you all so much for being so kind and y'all are amazing This one's wrapped, ready to go, and this one's going to Charlene. A couple of things I do want to say on some of these comments that were left. Uh, a couple of people wanted me to sign the mugs, and I will do that for you. I definitely will. Also, uh, one other person said, let me find it. Mike Resale, 1973, that's his eBay store. Uh, he said, it's a great way to help St. Jude. You're a class act, man. Love your content, and I thank you very much. Uh, he said that, if anybody goes over to a store and purchase anything, puts down RKTC in the comments, he will donate 20% of his sales to St. Jude's. So that's awesome. And uh, he'll also probably give a discount if you talk to him. But that's Mike, and I really appreciate it, Mike. Thank you very much. All right, let me tell you, it took a little while to wrap all these up, but I got them all wrapped up. This is what sold so far on the coffee mugs. And I really expect a few more sales because they're not quite all sold out. But I appreciate everybody so far. And if you've noticed, there's three coffee mugs sitting up here on top. Well, I had two viewers purchase coffee mugs that they said to give away. 
One of them, his name is Freddie. Freddie, I really appreciate it. You know who you are. We spoke already through email. And Freddie purchased a coffee mug just to donate to St. Jude. And he said to give one away. So that's what I'm going to do. And the other person is Ivan. Ivan has a YouTube channel called It's Just Ivan. And he purchased two coffee mugs. He's already purchased a coffee mug prior to this uh, little cause we're doing. But he... Uh, purchased two coffee mugs for the donation to St. Jude's and he said to give those two away. So if you want a coffee mug, I've got three of them that we're giving away in this video. All you have to do is leave the name author, A-U-T-H-U-R, Arthur. Arthur is the father's name of the viewer that we're doing the donation to St. Jude's for and we're doing it in memory of him. So that's all you have to do is leave a comment down below, any comment, write whatever you want, but in a comment, put down the word Arthur, and you have a chance for one of those RK Treasure Center coffee mugs, and we'll have the drawing in the next video. All right, well, I do have a couple more items that sold, but I'm a little tired from wrapping all these up right now, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that into the next clip, which I'll either come back tonight and wrap those up, or I'll do it first thing in the morning, and then we'll finish this video off. Well, good morning. It is the next morning. I decided to wait till this morning. I only had four other items to pull for uh, since yesterday that weren't coffee mugs that sold. So I thought I'd go ahead and share those with you. The first one being these two 10 pound weights. These are Bollinger weights. They are used. Uh, I used them for a little while myself <laughs> and they do have some wear issues. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has like little, little cracks on them on the silicone plastic they're good solid weights and these sold for $27.99 and they're going to go out into a flat rate box more than likely sold this super cute build-a-bear teddy bear he's a nice little brown teddy bear i just love those eyebrows they're just really cute but this is a build-a-bear and he is just really really cute this sold for $18 um and this is going out to Ashley. So Ashley, I appreciate the purchase. Thank you very much. These are candles for angel chimes. And if you know what I'm talking about, uh, around Christmas time, they have these little metal chimes where you put candles around it and the heat from the flame causes them to spin around. It's been around for a long time. Most people don't see that kind of stuff anymore. But these are some old candles for these. And this sold for $9.95 plus shipping. I haven't sold one of these for a while. This is a Calhoun racer. It's actually from Ralph Breaks the Internet, the cartoon movie. And this was a Happy Meals toy. So Happy Meals toys do sell. They don't make much money. My longtime joke is that I always sell Happy, Teal, a Happy Meal toys so I can pay for my next Happy Meal. This sold for $6.99. Free shipping. It'll go in a little poly bag and mail right out. I'm running out of 1095s, 1097s, I still got some 1092s, and those are free boxes you can get from the UPS Shipping Supply, and if you want to know how to wrap like a tennis racket or a long item, you can buy a large game box or get game boxes for free, but they're a flat rate price, and right now they're like $24 if you're to mail them out, but if you take a 1097 and a 1092 and stack them on top of each other so it makes a long skinny box, that'll mail out for about ten dollars just saying and a 1095 i was just about out of i've got package supplies over here i've got bubble wrap i've got stuff all over here but as you can see the boxes are all leaning because i'm i'm getting empty so i just ordered a whole bunch of supplies in between uh the other day and today i just got some more let me show you what i got so these are all the boxes i ordered and I actually ordered some different size boxes. Again, they're free from the USPS and I'm gonna try some of them out. For instance, many of you have seen these small flat rate boxes and I've used those, but I mean, they go out at one price, but let's face it, once they're folded up, they're not very big, but also online with the UPS or USPS, they have these and these are a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can get this set up so the camera can see it try to keep it from falling but if you can see when i put these next to it you can see they're just a little bit bigger and there's many times i've mailed items out in a small box but there's many times i want to put something in here and it just won't fit out because of the weight 
and with a flat rate small box you can put any weight in it but face it unless you're ma mailing lead or gold or something like that you're probably not going to get 50 pounds of weight in this little tiny box that folds up to you know you know what i'm saying so the width isn't very wide well these are a little bit wider in both ways so i went ahead and ordered these to give it a try and you know they're going to work they're still going to go at a priority price but it's probably going to go out whatever i get like usually it's not going to be but a pound or two that's going to go in here and it's something anyway you know what i'm saying got some more 1095s in because i was almost out the 1097 1092s i'm going to go ahead and keep those stocked up because those are all it's really good and out in this room right here, which I never really show because it is a tragic mess. And when I mean it's a tragic mess, I mean it's a tragic mess. But I'll take the camera out there and I'll show you some other wrapping supplies that I've got. Probably hoarding boxes. But I do a lot of shipping, a lot of things that you don't see behind the scenes. Let's go out there and I'll show you. All right, so as you can see, I have mixed in my regular garage. I have boxes all across the top up there. They go all the way across the top. I've got boxes here uh, of wrapping and stuff. I've got some boxes here. I just ordered some eBay stuff. In here, I've got a few boxes, some paper, more USPS shipping supplies, poly bags, uh, bubble, bubble mailers, tape, more tape, more bubble mailers, um, just some odds and ends boxes. And that's still not all, believe it or not. And then down here, I've got more UPS supplies. These just arrived uh, the other day, so I got to put those up. So I use my eBay shipping coupon, and I order a lot of boxes. Plus, like I said, I get a lot of free boxes from the USPS. But I did order this from eBay when I used my shipping coupon last time. I thought I'd try out this size. Seems to be a good size that a lot of items I mail that are bigger in. This is a 15 by 10 by 6 let me show you i've already wrapped up my other ones but uh i use 12 by 6 by 6 quite often um i've used 10 by 8 by 6 8 by 8 by 8 those are good boxes and 12 by 10 by 8 those are good boxes but you don't have to order all those i just was giving them a try to see what it was but it seemed like that a 15 by what did it say 15 by 10 by 6, that seemed like the good size, so I thought I'd order and try it, see what it's like. I don't use a ton of these boxes. Now, this one is just like the large flat rate box from the USPS, except for this one's called O-Box 7. And I don't know if it's kind of upside down, but you see it says O-Box 7. It's a 12 by 12 by 8. That's a good size, too, right there, and it's free, so I get those. My most common ones I use are my shoe boxes, so I load it up on shoe box. That's a shoe box size. Uh, you get that from USPS. Regional A's, I don't use regional B's a lot, but I have regional A, 1092s, 1097s, 1095s, 4x4x6 or 6x4x4, 8x6x4, 6x6x6. So those are the kind of things I use a lot, plus poly bags, and those are just odds and ends boxes and stuff. But yeah, those are pretty much all the boxes I use. Uh, still have a few others out there, a few other different sizes. I also did get these from the USPS. These are called OFRBs, 11.25 by 8.75 by 8. So 12 by 9 by 8, I don't know. Again, I'm just trying various box sizes, just picking them up for free. I'm going to use them all. It's no problem. But sometimes there's just a bunch of items where you got too much space or you just need that little bit extra so i'm just trying different boxes to see what happens one thing i wanted to talk about i've had for a while but i haven't mentioned it in the video look down and you may see an applause button and if you feel like you want to hit that applause button it does help the channel and it also does a little spot where if you want to do like a donation or something that would be really cool for the channel uh right now it's in beta form on youtube they've had it out for a little while they're putting it out to all youtube content creators eventually but i was one of the lucky ones that got it i have had a couple of viewers that have used it so far so i really appreciate it but if you happen to look down and right next to that thumbs up button where you can give us a like for this video if you see that applause button and you'd like to hit it too hey i really appreciate it Thank you for watching today. To all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone else, take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Bye-bye.